Hey guys, this is Potato King Mike, here to bring you the first episode of a, uh, a nifty little platformer that just released a few days ago called Wings of V. Now, um, as you can see, I've, I've started recording in-game. Uh, that is completely by accident. Um, what actually happened was I started recording, and I went through this first little chunk here without actually turning on my video. Uh, it was just my audio that was going, and I didn't even realize that until I finished this, and I looked up and saw that Bandicam was not recording. So, we're gonna redo that just so I can show you what makes this platformer so unique. Um, okay, so yes, this is, uh, this is one of the, um, other characters. Uh, you play as this little angel here. Her name is V. Uh, this is her friend Ruby. So, you know, you play as V. And, of course, you know, um, what this part here is, uh, Ruby challenges you to a race through the, they call it the floating key. So, we're just gonna go through that again, just so you guys can get a, a nice little look at uh, what platforming in this game is like. So yeah, you only have one jump, which is, you know, pretty standard amongst platformers, but you can activate it midair, which is not. Oh wow, I actually beat that first try, okay. Yeah, even the last time I did it, it still took two tries. So this is a, a very challenging platformer at times, because of... Um, just how you have to time things, just, I didn't mean to do that, oops. Well, it looks like we're doing that again. So, um, one of the neat things about this game is that you can, uh, customize your character. I actually personally choose not to, um, just because I like the way V looks on her own. I derped that up. Ah, uh, whatever, we're not doing that race again. So, as you can see, yeah, one, uh, slightly mistimed jump there, and I fell down and lost the race. Even though I won it before. So, you know, that's how that works. Um, but yeah, you have the ability to customize your character. Um, here you can see uh, my little version of V. Um, normally, this is her uh, default head. Um, so the only thing I have is, yeah, I, I use the, uh, the glasses mode. Um, which actually didn't find the glasses the first time I played through. I uh, found it the second time while I, well, I was uh, showing the game off to a friend. Uh, I actually haven't beaten this game. Um, this game is extremely challenging. Uh, it's very repetitive, very hard to uh, get used to the, the kind of platforming. Um, but once you get into it, you, whenever you go back through an area, you will always be better than you were before. So um, the only other change I made is this little uh, one of the accessories that she's supposed to carry around. Um, which is just, uh, that's actually like something you get that like is actually important to the game. But you can turn it off just for the aesthetic effect. Because uh, I find that the little trail it lives, leaves is just kind of annoying sometimes. So I chose to leave it off. And then I found a little bunny companion during one of my other... Uh, in my uh, my first file. So I decided to have that little thing following me around. Because that's just adorable. So, uh, yeah. So that's... It's, it's a very, very odd platformer. Um, it's very fun though. Despite being extremely challenging. Um, as you can see down to the bottom left... I don't know if I said this while I was actually recording the video or not, but uh, this game actually tracks your deaths and your uh, your uh, your deaths and your time playing. Uh, so you know it's it's one of those kinds of games. So yeah, we're just gonna continue on here because I'm wasting a lot of time. Yeah, all right, follow me. Yeah, okay. So we follow Ruby over here, and she's suddenly like way faster than us. Just gonna disappear through this door. Wait for my bunny. You're not gonna catch up, bunny. Okay. So we come in here, and then you see that bad-looking dude over there, tied up. And then your friend Ruby is just, you know, standing there, looking sassy. So then trigger cutscene. Um. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna actually read this. Okay. We're not supposed to be here. Aren't there supposed to be guards around this place? I can make boys do whatever I want. Yeah. See. See. Annoying. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, don't worry, he's powerless. Eh. See? He should suffer all the trouble for... He, he should suffer for all the trouble he caused our people, right? Huh, <laughs> I can talk. I guess? Go get him! Okay. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Hey, oh. Oh, glitching pictures. <laughs> I told you so. Oh, no, roar! I hit the switch. Oh no, the switch. He's free! Fools. 
Tell your people in the indomitable Jill Jill I don't even know how to pronounce that. Let's just go with Jill. Shall roll once again. Mark my words, angels. I shall regain my strength and vengeance will be. Ah, that's my toe! Oh, I apologize. My dog just stepped on my toe while he was walking by. And now my phone goes off. I should probably put that in silent. Don't don't mind any of this distractions. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, so that's in silent. Okay. I shall regain my strength and vengeance shall be mine. Rawr. I look like a freaky Godzilla. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Ruby gets up. And then takes off. And then we get up. And then... Oh no, what happened? Boing. Boing. Come, bunny. Follow me. Follow me to the path of victory. We walk outside. Oh no. Oh, look. A giant photo thingy. What's this? Hey, look, it's Ruby. Oh, what's that she has? Some sort of staff? What's that? Oh, that's the... Right? It's the staff of purity that I showed you guys. Huh? What's that behind her? Uh, more broken pictures. <laughs> oh no, it took your friend. Yeah, so you, you, the, the, the demon's there. Take your friend. And you come and pick up her, uh, her staff of purity. And that's what you use to attack. Um, the, the controls that it's, it's giving... Um, I have actually changed those because I found it uncomfortable to operate the way uh, the game told me to, or the game has it. So I now have it set so that I move with WASD because that's just how I roll. And then uh, various other buttons mapped it. So you know, if I you know by hitting the attack button, these little white lines appear, and you can use those to attack. And you can attack in eight directions. You know, so. We can come over here, we can attack that thing. I don't even know what they're for, but you can attack it. Come over to these things. These are checkpoints. These nifty little things are either way more... They're, they either pop up everywhere, or there's one... Or there, you know, there really isn't one where you need one. Because this game is just so hard. So there's a demon. So, yep, we managed to kill that. Now another instance of having to put the unique platforming to work... Had we just jumped straight from that ledge, we would have fallen into the pit. So we have to uh, delay our jump until we're in the midair. Same here. Come, bunny. Yep. So, you know, uh, the first this first level is just going through the floating keep here and uh, clearing away, you know, some of the demons that pop up. This is a very, very good instance of... Uh, how unique this platforming is. Watch this. So, boing. So then you gotta come down here. And then drop down here again. And then we have another checkpoint. I actually haven't taken any damage, which is the first. Oh, there we go. Now I took the damage. That's alright, though. You have 100 health, so... Taking 15 damage isn't too much of a worry. Especially when there's a heart right there. So, yep, you can jump up here. These little guys... Oh, God, are they annoying. They, they are extremely annoying because they teleport and they fire fireballs at you and they can hit you from pretty much anywhere on the screen. So they're just nothing but a giant bag of annoying. I still haven't been able to get into that area there. I don't know what it is. I assume there's some sort of secret up there. I've been through this area three times now and I can't seem to get up there. So, we'll, we'll just have to see. Okay, oh, no, see, yep, yeah, see the, uh, the enemy. Enemies can be very hazardous sometimes while you're trying to do your platforming. Because this part, these, uh, little damage bricks here, they're gonna fall. And then, yeah, there's a checkpoint right there, too, so. I was so close. So, yeah, you do that, and you come up through here. Another one of these floating... Ugh. God, do I hate these guys. Yep, managed to kill him before he could fire off his thingamajig. Yep. Crap. Yeah, see. You can do the most spectacular things with this platform, and then you do things where you just completely fail. Uh, I don't believe we were supposed to go this way just yet. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to go do something real quick, uh, but that should be easy to edit out. So, yep, last thing I recall, I think we were, I said that we were going to go over here. Uh, more of these little spike things that are... Um, they're not one-hit kills, but they force you to, uh, respawn back to the last piece that you touched. Oh, no, not this way. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I was, I was mistaken. We are supposed to go this way. 
Come, buddy. Follow me to victory. Okay, another one of these guys. Those are, uh, they're, they're kind of annoying because, uh, they take two attacks to kill. Which is, as you could probably imagine, uh, kind of annoying. So, um, yeah, as you, the, the, the weird platforming gets really awkward at times, and it makes it extremely hard to, um, get used to it first. Nah, and more of the stupid... Where are you at? Yeah, that's we killed him. Easy. Same with him. Careful with your pitiful little spikes. And here we have the first, I guess, boss. Uh, it has a health bar similar to the bosses for some reason. I don't know why. Because uh, it's basically just this portal is just dropping out common enemies that we have to take care of. Oh god. Okay, so you dead. Oh, oh, that was the last one? Oh, sweet. Okay. We're just gonna come over here and kill those two. Okay, so now we can talk to this chick. And more broken pictures. Okay. Oh, the noises. What? Huh? What's going on? An angel. Who are you? No, what happened? My name is V. <laughs> Stop laughing at my awkward improvised speech, okay? Well, this is a Demon King guy. What? Whatever. Floating key. This is my home kingdom. Name is Her name is Ira. Yes, this is Ira. I forgot what her name was. You literally only see her like once. Yep. So then she gives you this feather thing. And, you know, you might not think, oh, that's not such a good thing. But, boink. You jump this. And feathers give you new abilities. For example, this one gives you the ability to flutter using the action command, which uh, I have remapped to the M button down by the spacebar. Because the spacebar is where it's, it's, it's how I've been jumping. So, I can do that. And as you can see, only one death for 15 minutes of playtime. That's actually very impressive, uh, considering that I died probably... 50 times in uh, just as long, just because it's it's really, really, really hard sometimes, especially when you've never played the game before. So I mean, it's just okay. Sorry, I was checking my phone there. I was stalling. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, uh, it might not look like you'd, there's anything you'd be able to do here, you know. But you know, let's just go take a leap of faith. Off the end of this thing, and we fall right over here, which is handy because normally we would, uh, if we had landed a little to the left here, we would have to use the flutter ability to get up here. But you know, it was rather convenient that we just landed right there. Now this, this is where you get your first real taste of how weird this game can be, because normally most people would think that the flutter ability you can just, you know, it's supposed to be like a supplement to your jump, right? You do jump and flutter, right? Not always true. For example, here, yes, that is the case, and you use it to get over here, and up onto here, if I can actually make it. There we are. But see, now, you do flutter that, and I screwed that up. But as you can see, you use the flutter to get up over to here. Had you, uh, if you try to drop down off of that and use the jump first, you would uh, hit your head off of that little raised section right over here, and then uh, it would bounce you back down into the spikes, which would be terrible. Here is another another awkward one where you have to use the flutter ability first, but once you get the hang of it, um, this took me probably 30 tries to get through the first time I played this game, and I still did it in one try. That just shows you um, like, it's difficult to get used to this game, but once you do, you start to, th and you start to think differently. See, that's another one where I, it's, I, I spent probably just as much time here as I would on the last obstacle, because I thought you gotta jump, then use the flutter. Nope, you gotta use the flutter and then jump again. And you, you wouldn't think it makes all that much different, but it really does. Another instance where you gotta flutter, jump, How did I kill that one hit? What the heck? Okay. So this one is one where you gotta do the jump in the flutter to get over that thing. And now we gotta oh well, I took damage there, okay. 
It's a good thing there's a checkpoint here. The best thing that the check these checkpoints do, though, is they heal you when you take damage. These guys here, these are, uh... No, my buddy! You grabbed my buddy! These guys are, um, relatively annoying on their own. Um, not so much that they're, you know, just retarded, but you can, you can clear them just by doing a jump, jump and flutter. Uh, but when you come into areas like the... Huh? There's a platform there that didn't used to. Oh, oh, tits. Okay, yeah, so that's the thing. You jump up here. This did not used to be here. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but this is, this is a glitch. Okay, so you can do this. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Now, now you see what I, uh... Oh, no, that was before. So, yeah, the reason, um, it took me three days to get around to recording this video is because it's a lot of, a lot of repetition and doing things over and over again. Trying to, uh, accomplish your goals. And, uh, up until now, I haven't really demonstrated that a whole lot because I've been doing everything pretty much the first try. Just because, uh, this would be the third time that I'm playing through most of this. So it's relatively easy for me to do, but you get to a certain point where, um, you know, once once I get into, like, the areas where I haven't been in, and I've played a decent chunk of the game already. I've already beat three of the bosses, not counting that first little, um, little vortex thing that popped up. But, uh, once I get into the areas where, um, I don't know what I'm doing and it's all new, uh, you'll see just how much rep um, repetition this game is. So this part here, this part is just absolute murder. Because, see, those two things there, those are just do 50 damage on contact. So, if you hit one of those at all, you... Or, if you hit the, both of those, then that's an insta-kill. See? Yeah, I hit one of those. Had, uh, that little, like, platform that wasn't supposed to be there, had that not been there, like normal, um... I normally would have taken damage on that first hand that's pointing downwards over here, um... But because that was there, that, I guess, that, that made it easier for me to get past that and up in there. So that's good. Ah, no, oh, no, oh, I had my fingers on the wrong buttons. Okay, getting pretty close here to Bandicam's timeout. So we're going to end this video pretty soon. I guess, let's, let's, let's make it to the next checkpoint. It shouldn't be that hard. Hey, look. Yep, so we killed that guy. So we come around here, and that falls. So, we're gonna take this checkpoint here. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is Wings of V. Um, it's a very, very, I guess, un I wouldn't call it underground, because, you know, people have heard of it, but it's, uh, it's technically still considered an indie game. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I actually, uh, enjoyed making it for once. Um, the first time I played through this, it was kind of irritating. Because, you know, just the difficulty of the game makes it... There's a, a very high risk of wanting to rage quit. But, um, this game, once you get used to it, it's it's just nothing but pure fun. Um, especially when you get to play around with some of the, uh, the parkour abilities. I mean, it's just a really fun, fun game to play. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. And, well, yeah, this is Potato King Mike, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.